Well, good morning, everybody. It's another Thursday, Thursday, April 29th, 2021. We're coming to you during the school day again. Last week it was Earth Day fun. Today it is Mrs. Felino stuck on books. It's finally what I said I would do if the kids read 50,000 minutes during the month of March, which they did do. So here I am. I've been duct taped to this stack of history books with a bunch of books at my feet. And classes have been coming to visit. I'm sure pictures will be up later and read me stories. So we thought we'd do the Friday forecast. Or no, Thursday, <laughs> Thursday thoughts. <laughs> Sorry, the tape is getting to me. The Thursday thoughts. Um, yeah, it's not Friday. <laughs> Tomorrow we have Friday off, don't forget. Teachers are going to be at a retreat. We will keep you in our prayers. We're actually heading to St. John, Indiana tomorrow to pray. So we will keep all families in our prayers for the continued success of St. Ferdinand School. All right. But in the meantime, we've got some events we just want to talk about real quick. Which one are you focusing on, Miss Morgan? Oh, uh, summer camp. All right. So summer Wave camp. to the camera, you got to. <laughs> we have Hi. Gwen and Olivia helping us out. You go to holding the summer camp. Now that's a lot of fun. If you're fourth grade and under, you would like to join that. The forms are due next Friday. All right, so you've got a week to turn in the registration fee, and I believe she wants the first week as well. So you can go online and register there, and we look forward to having kids here. It's gonna be so much fun having camp here and seeing the kids again, filling the halls this summer in a safe way. All right, we also have the fun run is going to <laughs> the fun run is going to be called the Torba Trot, and it's we're also it's also a day that we are honoring Father Torba as he ends his 15 years here. Um, we have a lot of special activities planned to kick off the day, and then of course the kids will be running, and you got the pledge sheets last week, so maybe you'd like to donate an amount per lap or a straight amount. Can you come over here for a second, Miss Miss Margaret? Thank you. A little closer. All right, no, no, hi. <laughs> um, just as a little PS to that, we've decided to give part of the proceeds to a special charity in Father Torba's name. Don't tell him. All right, he's, he's out of the country right now, so I don't think he's going to see this. But So if that influences you to donate more, please know that, you know, aside from using it um, for expenses here at our school, we are going to definitely make a very sizable donation to, in Father Torba's name for that. So... These are going to be fun activities for the kids. Yesterday we were really planning it and, and, and fun things, uh, celebrating Father Torba as well. All right, so please look for those forms. Turn them in and they're available online as well, right, Miss Margaret? If you can't find yours, yes. Okay, yep. Under the Thursday thoughts. All right. Uh, okay, we can go back to next week. Yay, it's Culture Week here. Culture Week is going to be so much fun. We even have Miss Mary, our lunch lady just walked by, we didn't see her completely, but she has been busy working with me to plan special lunches next week. Like Monday is actually Polish Constitution Day, so we've made that uh, Slavic Day. So any of the, if you wanna wear colors from any of the Slavic regions, that's good. Or if you have um, ethnic Polish wear or things with a Polish flag on it, that's good too. I'll be looking for red and white things to wear. And then Tuesday is celebrating all cultures. So anything you might have from any culture that's like an ethnic wear, then please wear it. I am going to try to borrow my brother's lederhosen to celebrate the German side of me on that day. So I got to find the lederhosen this weekend, and uh, yeah, that's what I'll probably plan to wear. All right, and then Wednesday is Cinco de Mayo, so we are celebrating all the Latin cultures that day. So we can wear the colors of any of the Latino flags to celebrate those days. That should be a lot of fun. And then Thursday, we have Asian and Filipino cultures. We're doing a virtual assembly that day, the whole school, um, through Urban Gateways, right? The whole school will be watching. That's called Heart of Japan. So I think it's about Japanese dancing that day. So we're excited to see a virtual assembly for the whole school. And then Friday, we're just wrapping it up, celebrating and praying for peace among all the cultures. Um, we're going to, at our Mass, we're going to do the intentions in different languages, and that'll be a way to kind of wrap up the week. I think it's American, it's like a hot dog, an all-American hot dog that day for lunch. All right. So, Ms. Margaret, anything else? No, okay. I do not think so. Oh, 
Yes, summer camp is on our website. If you go on the summer camp tab, it might be easier to access the registration form. That way it will link directly to the Google Doc. I know the URL that's on the original flyer that went home is kind of really long, but trust me, if you go to the summer camp tab on our website, it will link it right to the form to register. That might be a little bit easier. All right, back to Mrs. Felino. All right, so I'm still here, surprised, just hanging out. Um, I'll be here as each class comes to visit, so uh, keep in your thoughts, keep your kids reading, make sure to stay safe, stay masked this weekend. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. We're going to keep us healthy as we head into the last five and a half weeks of school. All right. Take care, everybody. You guys can say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.